Hello Vineyard, it's so good to see you again. I'm looking forward to maybe seeing some of you in person soon, but for now, we're going to keep doing videos and you're going to keep talking with your family every week about the things that you have been learning. You might remember that a while ago in Vineyard, we started reading the book called Romans. It's a letter that Paul wrote to the people who lived in Rome, who trusted Jesus. And uh, he told them lots and lots and lots of things. And I thought before we begin today, we're just going to remember some of the things that Paul told those people. I've got some words here and we're going to put them up on my line just up here. And we're going to remember the things that we have been learning. So number one. Here's our first one, and it says the word righteous. I'm just going to move back here so I can put it up on the line. Righteous. Only following God's law makes us right with him. That's what we've learned in Romans. The next one is this one. It says rebellion. People have chosen to live their own way. Number three, we've learned about Anger, that is a big word, isn't it? A big, important word. Anger. People will face God's anger. These are all of the things that the Romans have been hearing from Paul as he speaks God's words to them. Number four, we've got heart. And what does Paul say about heart? He says, we have broken God's law because our hearts are sinful. We've then got this one, and the word says judgments. We have turned away from God, and we deserve judgments. And the last one, the place that we left Romans last time, was this one, sin. And Paul said that God's law shows us how sinful we are. So, it's not looking great, is it? Only following God's law makes us right with him. People have chosen to live their own way. People will face God's anger. We have broken God's law because our hearts are sinful. We have turned away from God and deserve judgment. God's law shows us how sinful we are. It's not good news, is it? In fact, it's very bad and very scary news for us. In the letter that Paul wrote to the Romans, I've got it here in my Bible, Paul kept going after he said those things. I'm going to turn all of these cards around and we're going to see what the next two words that he put in the Bible are. Are you ready? All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? What does this say? It says, but God. But God are the next two words in the Bible. Isn't that a great beginning? Something is going to change. Something is going to be different. I'm going to read a part of the Bible that's going to help us to understand what the thing is that's going to be different. Paul writes in Romans chapter 3, But God has a way to make people right with him. That is good news. What Paul is saying is that God makes sinners right with him through faith in Jesus Christ. God is always right. He is right to punish sin. He is right to be patient with sin. And he is right to forgive sin. And God forgives sin because Jesus died. Jesus faced God's anger at sin and Jesus brought people back to God's. And so anyone who trusts in Jesus to save them is right with God's. Here's the question. 
Are you someone who has trusted in Jesus to make you right? If you would like to, why don't you talk about that with someone who you know trusts Jesus? Maybe that person would be your mum or your dad. Maybe it would be your vineyard teacher. Maybe it would be me. Maybe it would be John who leads our church. If you are someone who trusts in Jesus, this means something for you too. It means that we will not boast. Because we are only sinners who have been saved, made right by Jesus. We can't show off about how good we are or about how well we follow the rules. It means that we will keep trying to obey God's law because God's law, just like God, is good and right and we have been made right. Can you do the actions with me this time? Isn't it great that God makes sinners right with him through faith in Jesus Christ? We're going to sing a song. It's a song that you will remember that we've sung before. It's a song from Romans and it's a song that comes straight out of the Bible. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you enjoy talking with your family. I hope that you enjoy making some fun crafts. Have a look in your pack to find out what you're doing today. And I will see you on the video again next week. Bye everyone.